The era has come when computers can catch up with human cognitive and expressive abilities with supergiant artificial intelligence, AI, technology developed by putting in huge amounts of data and computational resources that humans cannot verify individually. NCSoft, which has established and expanded its own AI R&D organization for more than 10 years with the pioneering vision of CSO Yoon Song Yi and bold investment by founder and CEO Kim Tech Jin, has not only developed its own AI model, but also it is concentrating on preempting the technology of next generation AI model to overcome limitations and securing technology for realizing digital human that can communicate visually, auditory, verbally and emotionally like a real person. To realize NCSoft's AI vision, this magazine interviewed Lee Yeon Su, head of NLP Center, who leads Natural Language Processing, NLP, R&D. The following is a Q&A with the head of the center. Please provide a brief self-introduction. I am in charge of the NCSoft NLP Center. I joined the NCSoft AI Task Force, TF, as a researcher in 2014. I started by introducing the NLP field technology that NCSoft did not have before and sharing the potential of this technology inside the company. I even served as the head of the NLP Center. What is the role of the NLP Center? The NLP Center comprehensively studies all the steps from human speech to machine understanding, combining knowledge with it, reasoning, and researching various, thinking, processes corresponding to the human brain to generate human speech. In terms of company-wide AI research, the importance of the NLP field is highly regarded, so we are conducting research in depth enough to have four technical rooms for each main research unit, language understanding, conversation, generation slash translation, and search, within the NLP center. Although it may seem like an AI research organization for the I think it is. To prepare for an uncertain future, it is investing in research in various IT fields, including AI. Please introduce a case where the AI research results of the NLP Center were utilized in relation to the game business. We provided the dialogue AI translation function so that multiple access online role-playing game, MMRPG, users can communicate with users from other countries when chatting in real time. In an MMORPG that flows based on communities such as clan, party, and guild, dialogue is war it is in charge of conducting battles, delivering instructions, and distributing goods. Thanks to this, Korean and Taiwanese users can participate in the same clan in a game such as Lineage W. The game result report can be viewed in the baseball simulation game H3. Our technology was also used to automatically create and analyze the contents of internal and external bulletin boards for each game service. Since most games to be released in the future are oriented to the global market, the proportion of related work is also increasing. We are developing an AI translation function to help communicate with publishers, distributors. Are there any cases where the center AI technology was applied to non-game businesses or used to collaborate with outsiders? This is a new business that uses AI technology secured from the beginning of the study before games. NLP technology was used a lot in Page, the number one baseball information service app. Game summary, result review, and various baseballs provided in the app. It was intensively applied to create a news feed that summarizes news and operates an AI chatbot that shares baseball-related information in the chat window for each club. It is also helping to communicate with the fan base in other languages by automatically translating it into nine languages, and there is a case of working with an external organization focusing on how to combine various information in real time, and deliver it to users as one of the tasks of AI. In cooperation with Yonhap News, we develop technologies to help reporters work, such as air-based automatic generation of weather articles or chronological tables and photo search, and we use that data for research. We are applying NLP technology that has been steadily accumulated since the past. Is there any contact with North Carolina Dinos, which was launched at the same time as the AITF, February 2011? 
We had a lot of discussions with people in charge of IT at North Carolina Dinos. We are now providing North Carolina Dinos with an AI engine that searches baseball relay videos. The selection of the baseball app page as a field may have been a factor in that background, and in the process of technology development, there were instances of applying the AI technology applied to the page to the North Carolina Dinos IT system. What was the situation when you joined AI Lab 8 years ago and how has the NLP Center changed now? Before, NCSoft looked at the potential for future development and explored various AI fields regardless of field. From the outside, why would a game company want to conduct NLP research? Most of the majors may not have expected NCSoft to invest in this field for a long time. These are the people who imagined that AI and technology accumulated in the game field could create a great synergy, and I am still grateful to them. It is known as a place where NLP research can be conducted on the subject, and there are many cases of recommending and supporting each other. What makes NLP Center different from AI research organizations of other digital business companies? There are a wide range of research topics and various subtasks within the category of NLP. This was an opportunity to form a separate NLP team in the early AATF. Now, research departments dealing with such various technologies are gathered in our center. Thanks to this, researchers in various fields can discuss and conduct in-depth research together. If you look at AI depicted in popular movies, The general public's expectations for NLP technology are already incredibly high, but it takes more than one or two people to realize the results that meet those expectations. Comprehensive research involving large-scale NLP researchers is needed, and researchers who have one of several fields as their interest, such as conversational AI and search AI, will have the opportunity to indirectly experience and grow research in other fields while interacting with their peers. Companies often have different technical research departments for specific businesses or services, such as search, webcomics, platforms, and games. Each of the four technical labs under the NCSoft NLP Center has different technologies and problems to be solved by using them. The Language Understanding Technology Lab researches the technology to make the expression of a human sentence with an infinite number of cases into a form that can be understood by a machine. This department is a front-end processing technology that makes it possible to distinguish a machine's eating tummy, burning tummy, body part pair, etc. deals with the generation and translation technology lab researches the technology of creating sentences using data stored in young forms such as databases and documents on computers. The generative technology that creates the Korean language expression as intended and the translation that creates the given content in another language fluently without omitting information were similar in the problem to be solved, so they were grouped into one department. The Search Technology Lab researches search engine technology that accurately finds sentences and paragraphs according to user intentions input in natural language in real-time generated information or big data. Lastly, The Conversation Technology Lab is conducting research to create a conversational AI engine that communicates with people by synthesizing the element technologies studied in the other three technical rooms. NCSoft's conversational AI engine has its own persona and aims to use its knowledge, select a conversation topic, and perform emotional responses, taking into account relationships and business goals like real humans. Are you planning to disclose the conversational AI engine technology to the outside? The Baseball Information App page is equipped with a conversational AI function page talk, and we plan to apply an enhanced conversational AI engine to the service. It is an AI engine that naturally communicates with people, and the conversational AI engine developed by the Conversation Technology Lab will be installed. In the center, A conversation AITF organization that conducts multimodal AI research is also created to support richer conversations. How are you approaching research in the field of multimodal AI that handles text, photos, voice, and video at the same time? We have been focusing on the problems that need to be solved at the NLP Center and AI Center level, but recently, we are conducting a lot of research that combines visual, auditory, 
and linguistic intelligence while promoting a large project called Digital Human. If you listen to the sound, you can increase the recognition accuracy rather than relying on a single piece of information. When you understand what a person is saying, if you see the expression and listen to the sound together, you can know the content and emotion more accurately. With that in mind, I am creating a model that combines multiple intelligences. I am developing a multimodal AI that can recognize users, emotions, or understand the surrounding situation by accepting various information in the recognition stage. Speak semantically pleasing sentences in the expression stage as well. If you do, the tone, speed, and expression of your voice should also match your emotions. It's not just happy or sad, but it's like a human actor expressing emotions such as excitement and disappointment. Research is ongoing. All these technologies will be included in the digital human that we will implement in the future. Big tech companies are investing huge capital to focus on developing supergiant AI models, what do you think of this? AI researchers are curious about how far they can learn by increasing the model size, and this is an area that anyone wants to try. On the other hand, even if researchers do not necessarily develop it, there are limits to increasing AI performance by increasing the size and amount of data. Although we are making large-scale AI models, we are aiming to develop a next-generation model that overcomes the limitations rather than competing with the existing supergiant AI models. There are also cases where human bias embedded in the data collected for learning, which is difficult to verify, enters the AI model and creates an AI ethics problem. Academic researchers around the world are working on the next model that overcomes these limitations, and we are approaching it that way. Please tell us about the future NLP Center operation goals and research direction. Currently, I am doing a lot of research on AI in the field of NLP for the development of major technologies such as translation and search and for digital human projects. From the beginning of the organization's establishment, we have maintained a vision for natural language communication technology combined with knowledge. We have a vision for R&D and products that apply and advance technologies that can be practically used at any time while creating the technology necessary to realize a machine that can communicate freely AI technology is already used in various industries beyond R&D and are we are also looking forward to helping to increase the level of productivity or final products in new business areas of games and other companies. At the NLP Center level, we will continue to strengthen multimodal AI research combined with other fields in the AI field. It seems that it was not easy to predict and invest in the importance of the AI field from 10 years ago. Is there an opportunity? The early members of NCSoft AATF were people who jointly developed the platform type AI Chatbot 1mm developed by SK Telecom from 2006 to 2007 together with CSO Yun Song Yi. The development of 1mm, iPhone Air Assistant, was promoted as a platform that makes life more convenient and provides commercial services through natural communication between mobile devices and users like Siri. And CEO Tech Jin Kim had a vision for AI before, but immediately after the bold decision to invest intensively for full-scale research, a deep learning thesis was published in the very early stages, and there is a high expectation among researchers that it will now be able to overcome the AI winter. It's starting to take shape. I think the timing is right. Center Director Lee Yeon Su joined NCSoft's AI Lab in August, 2014 after completing his bachelor's degree in computer science and master's and doctoral courses in computer science, natural language processing, at Korea University. While NCSoft is expanding the size of this organization, he has served as the NLP Lab Language Team Leader, NLP Center Language AI Lab Director, and NLP Center Director since June this year. Steering committee member of the Language Engineering Research Society, in charge of industry advice for the establishment of language resource construction plans at the National Institute of the Korean Language, advisory committee on the AI Learning Data Construction Project of the Korea Intelligent Information Society Agency, 
Advisory Committee on the Korean Language Corpus Construction Project of the National Institute of the Korean Language, Operation of the Yonsei University AI. Language Ability Evaluation System and Corpus Maintenance Project He also served as an advisory member and the 7th Korea Meteorological Administration Air Policy Advisory Board. Why did you choose to major in Computer Science and NLP? At first, I really liked basic science such as bioengineering and physics, but when I entered university, the Windows operating system came out and hardware and software technology developed rapidly. Finally, I chose computer science as my major. After graduating from undergraduate school, I worked for an SI company and made various software used by companies, but I felt that there are many deterministic things such as coding something and something is realized. I went to graduate school to learn more about the world, and I chose NLP because I wanted to try a relatively lesser known field than a mature operating system or database. What decisions do you think you made the best in relation to your career and what worries you these days? I think it was a good decision to live as a general software developer after graduating from undergraduate school, then decide to go to graduate school, choose an NLP major, and enter the NLP lab in graduate school. I want to see myself as a researcher and enjoy taking on challenges in areas I am not familiar with. If it is a business concern, I need more competency as an R&D head than I have been given a role as a researcher, so I wonder if my competency is sufficient in this regard or if it is suitable for my aptitude. There are times when I feel like this. It would be nice to do both roles well, but it is not an easy part. What are your future goals in life? I was given a research assignment called Digital Human, which is different from the AI chatbots I've encountered in NLP research so far in that it has to consider parts such as facial expressions. Although the technology is not yet perfected, the more you try to increase the realism of the results, the more uncomfortable the valley is, uncanny valley, can have the opposite effect. I want to reach a point where people are worried about whether or not people will actually like it, and I want to solve it technically. As an NLP researcher, this is an area I want to reach in five to six years. Is there a person you admire and a saying that you use as an indicator of your life? I admire people who continued their research activities while overcoming the difficulties of themselves and their surroundings, and I like a person like Einstein from that perspective. Except for parts like his private life, as a researcher. One of his famous photos is the elderly figure. But it shows that he grew old and continued his research activities until he got old, he can't accept quantum mechanics like this, when he argues with physicist Nils Bohr, who proposed the mainstream Copenhagen interpretation, and he knows how to admit his mistakes. That seems to inspire researchers a lot, and I often think of what he said he said, a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. There are many cases where, solving, is not possible when trying a new challenge. While trying various methods at first, the results of research for months to a year are not used, and sometimes mistakes are revealed later. It's a common occurrence among researchers, but if you take this seriously, you can't continue. Even if you make a mistake, you have to keep trying, and I tell other researchers this. Recommend a book to read to a colleague or junior female scientist. There is a novel book called Armand Among the Must Read for Teenagers, and I recently read it to have a conversation with my teenage son. It is a good book to understand humans. This is the content of the process. Even though it is clumsy at first, it changes under the influence of the people around. The book does not ultimately become the same as ordinary people but I want to say that interacting with and empathizing with people makes people live. I've heard that I'm busy and busy, but I often wonder if my child is growing up well. Children are growing up in a state of lack. Adults tend to expect the finished look. There is a scene where grandmother and mother teach, this character has an extreme illness, but I am also a human being who lacks in these areas, and I thought it would be meaningful to live by giving, and receiving help while people acknowledged these shortcomings. As a mother, 
I wanted my son to feel the same way. What difficulties do you feel as a woman and an entrepreneur and what you want from the government? Korea is a country where people are a resource and national power, but not only in science and technology, but in many fields, women go through the process of giving up their social life when they have to get married and raise their children. There are things that you can and cannot do with your innate talent in a highly competitive area when you are doing it. It was a less participatory environment. It was when I had children. There are difficulties such as the fact that the person that a child needs the most is the mother, the problem of not being able to trust others to take over the role, etc. After staying in daycare for a long time, it was difficult to go to school. After finishing early, there is a gap in care, and difficulties arise in the period when school is important. The point at which women give up, career, often comes as they go through these two stages. From this moment of crisis, children can do I hope that you will come up with a way to alleviate this burden, even for a few years before it is possible, and provide support.